Yeah. Okay, uh, first things first, we need one of you guys to clap for a common mark. I did it first. <laughs> Dude, let's start this whole day. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, we got to go. It's been crazy to see the response. Um, and, you know, being a new singer of this band, I was very nervous, not not quite sure what people were gonna think, um, but the response has been overwhelmingly positive. So yeah, it, it's just been really awesome working on it for the last year or so, and finally being like, hey, I'm in this band, and we're ready. This one, A New Disaster, was a very early demo. It was before I was even in the band at all. Um, they had sent me over a couple of songs to kind of take a look at and maybe put, you know, some vocals down to his um, melodical and lyrical ideas that he ar already had um, planned out for the song. Um, and this was actually the first one that I gravitated towards. I was like, ooh, I'm gonna put my vocals on that. Um, and then yeah, I sent it over to them and yeah, the rest is kind of history. New Disaster is the first single off the off the album, and it came out, and it's been really good. It's been really good. Um, it's kind of nice to to get done with this past year of just being in the studio and harassing ourselves on a weekly basis, and finally get to show people what we've been doing. And uh, you know, after how long this song's been sitting around, it's kind of nice to be able to put it out there and, and see the reactions that people have now that we kind of had when we first put it together almost a year ago. So, The meaning behind A New Disaster as a title um, kind of reflects where where we were coming from at that point in time. Um, like I said, this song was very early on in the writing process and it was kind of a situation where we needed to kind of step back, um, not be afraid of, you know, letting everything else that we've done at that point fall to the wayside just for a moment so we can clear our heads and create something completely new. And um, I call it a, a disaster because when you go into it you can't be you can't be so planned out about everything. You need to just be not afraid of going into something, you know, you can't think about it too much. You just gotta go into it and see what happens. Um, this band has gone through member changes before and as, as all bands do, but when you lose the voice in the face, that's where it gets a little a little iffy. Um, I remember sitting in the room with Evan and Jason and just kind of looking at each other and you know just kind of like all right we gotta we're gonna figure this out because we all still want to play together. We we talked to one another it's like well if we disbanded Cold Kingdom I would still want to have Evan as my guitar player. I'd still want to have Jason as my bass player and I'd hope they'd want me to play drums. So that's why we decided to keep Cold Kingdom Cold Kingdom and try our hardest to keep the name alive and keep the brand alive. It was definitely a great feeling to release the song and have it be so warmly accepted by by everyone who's who's followed us. And now for new fans, that's their first introduction into what Cold Kingdom is. And I think we as a band, as a group, are extremely proud of how that turned out. I think the song is very strong. It's the marker of a new disaster. It's it's it speaks volumes to the road ahead for us and, and everything we want to accomplish. Um, you know, it's tough to be a band and as, you know, we've, this band in particular has had, had so many bumps in the road for the last five years and this is just the, the, the next step in everything. And uh, for it to blow up the way that it did in the you know, first 24 hours, the numbers were, were just absolutely great. So, and now it's getting played on, you know, all around the Midwest, so. Colin and Elisa have really kind of brought uh, multiple new dimensions to the band, you know, not just the musical sides of things, not just the technical sides of things, but the um, the energy they bring to the band, the, the, the kind of, the, the positive vibes they bring to the band. I mean, I'm sure you know Elisa is kind of uh, excitable, yeah. might be just a little, you know, just a little, and, but in a, in a great way, and, and that's definitely spilled over to everyone else in the band. So. 
this is uh, a different team. And it, it's cool in this sense to, to make a record that really it has been a very collaborative project, you know. Um, obviously, I think we all know that Evan, well, we all know, so now you all should know, that Evan really is kind of the creative fire starter for this, this group. You know, without that kid, I just... It, Cold Kingdom is as much Evan Ogard as it is anything else. Evan gives us opportunities to write, which is awesome as well. But, I mean, as far as new things, I, I mean, just a different style of music, um, and really having a main writer that brings everything to the table. I mean, he's a world-class writer. There's no if, ands, or buts about that. So, I mean, it, it's a treat just hearing something new. You, you get a, a text message and you got something new and you're like, wow, I gotta listen to this right now. And that's Evan. And I mean, every guy in this band is awesome. I mean, I couldn't be happier. I know Lisa couldn't be happier. As far as this record has, has come together, it's been a very collaborative, um, very team-oriented thing. And it's, and it's come together fast because of that. You know, we've got a bunch of people who are pulling in the same direction and, you know, that are, you know, there's that excitement of, of new friends and new uh, working relationships um, that we've been feeding off of for sure. And I think that excitement is uh, a huge part of this record, for sure, for sure. I hope there's a lot of boners. Is actually what I meant to say. There's only one other thing I want to touch on. Okay. What do you want to touch? Hmm. That's cute. I'm good.